so now when we speak about melanin and we speak about how it adapts to its um how it adapts to our body we have to first um we have to first dissect what is melanin which we know is an amino acid which comes from um the amino acid tyrosine but then we say okay well if it is electrical and it is very beneficial to our body um how many electrons per atom does this amino acid um uh melanin has or tyrosine has because again um tyrosine is the building blocks of melanin so the point here is is that basically in order for anything within the body to produce what is known as electricity to make it an electric electrical body it has to have a specific amount of electrons or protons or neutrons per atom in order for it to produce what is known as electricity so we throw around this word melanin melanin but we don't understand the real concept of it and how it really adapts to the body how it relates to the body and how it benefits the body me I will personally say that melanin is just a word that is being used um, um, you know just subconsciously or rather consciously whatever the situation is but um, it does not really have a big impact on our body system I believe that it is the carbon that a lot of people mistaken for melanin and that's why you know for many of us um, you know we get darker when you know the um, electro rays from the sun hits us or you know every, anything related to darkness and um, frequencies and light etc etc I believe me personally when you dissect or I know that it is carbon but not melanin that attribute attributes or give rise to um, our society or darkness or health um, regarding to electricity or the electrical body. Thank you.